Patellar tendinitis, jumpers knee. The patellar tendon attaches the patella, which is the kneecap, to the top of the tibia. The quadriceps muscle is attached superiorly to the patella. A small part of the quadriceps tendon then continue over the front of the patella to become the patellar tendon. The patellar tendon works with the quadriceps tendon to straighten the leg. Several bursa are seen around the patella. Suprapatellar bursa, prepatellar bursa, and infrapatellar bursa. This bursae allow the kneecap to slide freely underneath the skin while bending and straightening the knee. Patellar tendonitis may develop due to repeated stress being placed on the patellar tendon. Patellar tendonitis is often referred to as jumper's knee. It is an overused condition that often occurs in athletes who perform repetitive jumping activities. Patellar tendonitis is a knee pain that is associated with focal patellar tendon tenderness and it is usually activity related. Young adults will get patellar tendonitis and older adults will get quadriceps tendonitis. Jumper's knee can occur above the patella, below the patella, or at the tendon insertion into the tibia. The most common area for patellar tendonitis, jumper's knee to occur is just below the kneecap, infrapatellar. Patellar tendonitis affects about 20% of jumping athletes. Patellar tendonitis will cause anterior knee pain at the inferior border of the patella with tenderness to palpation at the distal pole of the patella in extension and not in flexion. Patellar tendonitis is a sport-specific problem. Examples of sports activities that are typically associated with patellar tendonitis include basketball, volleyball, soccer. It can also occur in runners. Patellar tendinitis occurs in younger age athletes, taller body stature, higher body weight. It occurs more in male volleyball players. Some of the predisposing factors is quadriceps inflexibility and atrophy, hamstring tightness, playing on hard surface, increased training frequency, and patellar hypermobility. Patellar tendinitis occurs due to irritation of the tendon, and it progresses to tearing and degeneration of the tendon. It is a degeneration and not inflammation. Condition caused micro tears of the tendon due to repetitive, eccentric, forcible contraction of the extensor mechanism with poor flexibility of the hamstring and the quadriceps. Hamstring inflexibility places excessive stress on the extensor mechanism, which causes increased forces in the patellar tendon during contraction. We should focus on screening and treating poor quadriceps and the hamstring muscle flexibility to prevent patellar tendonitis in athletes. X-ray will appear normal. MRI and ultrasound will show degenerative changes in the tendon and tendon hypertrophy. Ultrasound with colored Doppler may show increased vascularity. Examine the patient for flexibility of the lumbar spine as well as the hamstrings and quadriceps muscles. Stiffness may cause patellar tendinitis. Treatment. Rest anti-inflammatory medications, stretching and strengthening, stretch the hamstring and the quadriceps, use eccentric exercise program.
Patellar tendonitis strap helps to relieve pain caused by patellar tendonitis. Early stages of patellar tendonitis will respond well to non-operative treatment. Injections. Don't inject steroids into the tendon. It may rupture the tendon. If you think injection is necessary, inject around the tendon. Severe cases, you will do surgery, debridement, and repair of the tendon. If conservative treatment fails for 6 to 12 months, then surgical treatment is indicated. When the patient continues to have pain during activity and rest, then conservative treatment won't work. Surgery consists of excision of the degenerated part of the tendon at the inferior part of the patella. At 12 months, 90% of the athletes return to pre-injury level of activity. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.